In this Market Muse video, I'm going to show you a simple yet extremely powerful way to build your topic authority by creating topic clusters on the fly. This goes beyond the simple approach of a pillar page and supporting content. Here, you'll learn how to create thematically strong, topically rich, and highly interwoven structures. Kind of like the way neurons in your brain make their connections. Hi, it's Steven Jeske from Market Muse. What I'm talking about may sound a little complicated, but I promise you it isn't. I'll even show you how to do the linking for any topic you can think of. Now, there are only three components you really need to be concerned about. The current page that you're working on, pages to link out to, and the anchor text to use for the links. All three need to have a close semantic relationship in order for this to work. The best and quickest way to ensure that semantic relationship exists is through the use of a topic model. The topics in that model serve as candidates for anchor text, which makes sense. You're already covering these topics on your page, so they serve as the best connectors. To complete that connection, you need to find a page that adequately addresses the topic of each anchor text. Remember that taking care of a cat example from the previous video? Litter box is a related topic that appears near the top of the list. So if you're talking about litter boxes in your article on cat care, it makes sense to link to your article on different litter boxes, assuming you have one. This is very good from both a search perspective and an audience one as well. Let's see how this works using Market Muse Connect. Enter the topic that your page is about. Since we're not a cat blog, I'll use a different example. Press Run and Market Muse uses its patented technology to analyze hundreds, even thousands of pages to create a topic model. It then analyzes the content on your site and suggests pages to link to that are about those related topics. Market Muse returns up to 10 anchor text suggestions, each having up to 10 associated URLs. Because we talk a lot about content strategy and related topics on our blog, we have a lot to choose from. Let's look at the first example anchor text, content strategy. We've got 10 page suggestions to link to, all ideal candidates that have a close relationship to the anchor text, which comes from the topic model. I'll make an editorial decision and pick one URL to incorporate with the anchor text into my piece of content. Then, I'll repeat that process with the next anchor text, in this case, target audience, and its URL suggestions, and so on. Now, depending on the length of your article, you may not want to use all the suggestions, but repeat this process with every article, and you'll end up creating a web of tightly interconnected content. Keep one thing in mind. Market Muse tries really, really hard to return link suggestions. More often than not, it will return something rather than nothing. So if you feel that those suggested URLs are stretching it, then maybe you need to create some content focused on those topics and link back to them. You can see that looking at the link suggestions for the anchor text social media. Although it's part of the topic model for content strategy, it's not something that we write about on the blog. Consequently, the link suggestions aren't that great. So if we want to use that anchor text, we really need to build out a new piece of content around social media and content strategy to link to. Before we leave, I want to talk briefly about linking to external sources as well. Although not part of a cluster building strategy, outbound links benefit your audience and are also something that search engines expect to see. Market Muse offers linking suggestions to high-quality sites that deal with related topics that are tangential to the subject of your content. They're helpful to readers, make search engines happy, but avoid direct SERP competition. Market Muse creates these suggestions using anchor text from topics that are low in relevance to the main focus topic. They're still relevant, just not as relevant as those for internal linking. In the next video, we'll look at how to ensure your content answers those important questions your audience is asking.